the bright future novices chase is next to our one furlong this time and the supremes at the top four joshua sutherland rich d craig beckwith cabo valdamo darren thompson come and see leon van rensburg and phoenix flames for paul rhodes just five of them then in this and called in and away away towards the first of the fences and there's 11 to take and cabo valdamo is just about the leader doesn't seem all that keen to be the leader. Phoenix Flames is just about the early bat marker. In fact, they're virtually in a line now, the rest of them, as they continue on this long run towards the first fence, which is well well round this turn. Quite a long run to the first with the Supreme and Come and See now disputing the lead. Rich D closes to his Cabo Aldama over on the fence. And Phoenix Flames, the bat marker of the five as they take the first. And all safely over it. Cash in the pocket for everybody. If they get round and the Supreme has now quickly opened up six lengths clear, so obviously decided there wasn't enough pace in the race that one, and he's going to try and take it from the start. And they're all safely over the second, although Come and See was a bit slow and has now dropped off towards the back. So the Supreme might be setting a pretty stiff pace here then because he's opened up by a good five to six length. Cabo Valdamo is second, Rich D closest to us is third. Between the two of those, is Phoenix Flames and the one who's finding the pace a little bit hot at the moment is Come and See who's the back marker of the five as they take the third a mistake there by Rich D other than that they're all jumping okay and the Supreme is well clear it's here the fourth and tap that fence really nicely Come and See made a mistake was very untidy at the back down on his nose, jumped that one much better though. And they're all still on their feet. With the Supreme, eight to ten lengths clear. Off Cabo Valdamo in second. Phoenix Flames is in third. And Rich D, they're now around that point from where they started. They this long one towards the next fence. With the Supreme, ten to twelve clear now. Off Phoenix Flames in second, and then Cabo Valdamo as they get over the sixth. They're all safely over. And this leader doesn't appear to be coming back at the moment as they get over the seventh. And the Phoenix Flames moved into second. Cabo Valdamo third. Come and see fourth and Rich D fifth. I didn't expect them to be quite as strong out of this with five top stables in the uh, mix. But it's the Supreme. The lead has been cut right down to. No more than six lengths now, but it still seems to be going well in the lead. Cabo Valdamo has moved into second, Phoenix Flames is third, Come and See has made a forward move into fourth, and Rich D is the one who's dropped off the back now as they take the ninth. That was the third from home, and it's the Supreme. Been out on his own a long time, might be getting a bit lonely. Leads by a bet. Five or six lengths to Cabo Valdamo in second, and then Come and See third. Phoenix Flames is in fourth. Rich D is towed off in fifth. Very stuttering video for me, so hopefully that they'll stay in sync. But the Supreme is in the lead, but only by about three lengths. Cabo Valdamo in second. Come and See is in third, and then Phoenix Flames is fourth. They get to the second last, and over it they go, and the Supreme is still in front. But Cabo Valdamo is the one who's thrown down the first challenge. Come and See is trying to run on Rich Flames back in fourth. They're coming down towards the final fence then there, and it's the Supreme who's still in front over the final fence. The Supreme jumped it well, got away from it well. Cabo Valdamo in second, he's trying to close. They're well inside the final half furlong, and the Supreme is hanging on. Cabo Valdamo is over the lunge, but it's going to be the Supreme. But it's a post takes it. The Supreme wins it. Cabo Valdamo second, then come and see him. Phoenix Flames after that one. They're all the way back to Rich D. And a pretty uneventful race, really, but. Joshua Sutherland sort of won't mind as the Supreme won that probably in the first furlong but he started to take the race by the scruff of the neck and making all the running. So the Supreme takes it for Joshua Sutherland, Cabo Valdamo, Darren Thompson second, come and see Leon Van Rensburg third, Phoenix Flames, Paul Rhodes was fourth and Rich D for Craig Beckwith was the fifth finisher.